Welcome, my name is Carrie Taylor and I am going to lead you through a flow to help ease away any blockages or tightness in your body and help clear out your mind. So grab your mat, get yourself comfortable, and we'll begin. So sitting up nice and tall, getting your self comfortable. You can have your legs crossed or out in front. Taking a moment to settle into your sits bones. Getting your spine long. Maybe taking your shoulders to your ears, reaching them up. And then as you exhale, letting them roll down your back. Let's do that again. Inhale, reaching the shoulders to your ears, holding here, and then exhale, letting out a sigh. Once more, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Close your eyes, going inside. Taking a moment to scan your body, noticing where there might be some tightness or tension, being gentle with yourself as we move through our poses. And from here, let's bring our chin to our chest. Taking a moment, letting the back of your neck stretch out. And then we'll slowly lift our nose up towards your ceiling, stretching out the front of your neck. And then taking your nose into a nice big circle. Being gentle with yourself if your neck is tender today, and then slowly taking it in the other direction. Coming back to center, let's take the fingertips to the ground, touching the earth. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Bringing your palms together and letting them settle at your heart. We'll do two more like that. Inhale, reaching up, getting nice and long, and exhale, bringing them down to your heart. And once more, inhale, and exhale, letting your hands settle at your heart, closing your eyes. Breathing all the way down into your belly. Maybe taking this opportunity to set an intention for your practice. So whatever qualities you'd like to bring in, anything you'd like to let go of, just bringing that to your mind's eye right now. And when you've set your intention, we'll lift our fingers up to the ceiling, letting the hands float back down to the mat. Let's take the left arm, reaching it up, coming over to the right, breathing into that space, creating some more space for your lungs to expand. And then we'll slowly come back to center. Let's take the other arm up, bringing it over, keeping your sits bones on the mat, taking a full breath into that side body, and then coming back to center. We'll do a little twist here, left hand to right knee, right hand behind, looking over your shoulder, 
breathing all the way down to the base of your spine. And then coming back to center. We're going to slowly fold over our hips, letting our head come down towards the floor. Breathing again all the way up the back body. Exhale, letting yourself get a little closer to the floor. And then we'll come back up. Let's stretch the legs out if they're not already. Give them a little shake. Maybe pointing your toes and flexing your feet. Maybe even making some circles with your ankles. And then the other direction. And then crossing your legs, but having the opposite leg in front, if you can remember which one that would be. We'll take the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind. Nice long spine looking over your left shoulder. And then coming back to center, let's fold back over the hips. Noticing how this side feels. And then coming back up, placing your hands on your knees will make a nice big circle. Imagine you're stirring a pot of chili. And then going in the other direction. And coming back to center, let's swing our legs around. Coming on to our hands and knees. Getting your wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We're going to move our spine, see how the spine is feeling today. So we'll do some cat cows. As you exhale, rounding your back up to the ceiling. And then as you inhale, letting your belly sink down as your head and tailbone come up. Moving with your breath back and forth. Noticing any tight spots in your back. Sending some breath into those areas. And then coming back to a neutral position, you're going to leave the hips where they are and just walking your hands over to the right. So you're making a little C with your waist, looking over that right shoulder, breathing into the left side body. And then we'll come back to center, taking your hands over to the left. Creating that C shape as you look over your left shoulder, taking a couple breaths on this side. Creating space and then coming back. Center. We're going to take the right leg and stretch it out. Toes on the mat. Let's pump our heel just to wake up the back of the legs here. And then we'll lift this right leg up so it's parallel to the floor. Belly button is pulling in. Let's lift the leg up and down, keeping your breath flowing. Beautiful. As you exhale, let's bend the knee, rounding your back and bringing your nose to your knee. Then sending it back out as you inhale. And we'll move back and forth with your breath. 
and three more times. Beautiful, once more. And sending that leg out again, pointing your toes. Let's see about balancing here. So take your opposite arm and reaching it out. Really engaging your core, keeping that breath flowing. And then we'll set the left hand down. Let's take the right leg and cross it over to the left. We're going to set it on the floor and look over your shoulder. See if you can take a peek at those toes. And then we'll bring the knee back in. Let's come into child's pose, taking a moment to give our wrists a rest, letting your head hang down. You can even stack your fists and let your head rest there. Breathing all the way up the back body. And letting go. And then we'll come back onto our hands and knees. Get your knees back under your hips. We'll send the left leg out, toes on the mat, gently pumping your heel. Then we'll lift the leg up, heel pushing out, toes are pointing down. Let's take this leg up and down. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring the knee to the nose, rounding our back. Inhale, stretching it out. Moving back and forth with your breath. And three more. And two. Last one. Sending that leg back out, pointing your toes. Let's stretch the opposite arm out for a little balance. And then we'll bring the right hand down, sending that left leg over to the right, taking a peek over your shoulder, breathing into the left side body. And then bringing that knee back in, let's take the hips from side to side, like a little puppy dog wagging its tail. Coming back to center, curling your toes under, we'll come into a downward facing dog, so making sure your fingers are nice and wide. Let's lift the hips up to the ceiling and taking a leisurely bend of each knee, stretching each leg out, and then eventually bringing both heels towards the mat, hips rising up a little higher towards the ceiling, head in between your arms, maybe shaking your head, Yes and no. And let's walk the hands back to the feet. Maybe bending your knees here, coming over into a forward fold, grabbing hold of your elbows and rocking from side to side. Noticing any tight spots. And then coming back to stillness, let's uncross uh, the arms. See if you can straighten out your legs. Coming into our forward fold. If your back is tender, definitely keep your knees bent. Breathing here. 
And then bend your knees, we'll slowly roll all the way up, nice and gentle, keeping your chin tucked until you're feeling stable. And then letting your shoulders roll down your back, standing up nice and tall in our mountain pose. Feeling your feet firmly planted on the mat, stacking your knees above your ankles, hips above your knees, shoulders and ears above your hips. Breathing all the way down into your belly. From here, let's reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Maybe looking up to that space between your hands, getting nice and long. Imagine you're holding on to a beach ball. We're going to slowly come over to the right. Feeling that stretch down the left side. And then coming back to center and slowly over to the left. And then back to center, letting your arms float back down by your sides, nice and slow. Ah. Shaking your hands and your arms. And let's go for a little swim this morning. We're going to take our right arm forward and then our left. Coming into our front crawl. And then taking it backwards. Noticing how your arms and shoulders are feeling today. And to see who is leading this show today, your body or your mind, we're going to bring one arm forward and one arm back. And if it's too tricky, it's okay. We'll do the other side, moving it in the other direction. And then shaking your arms out, not taking things so seriously. <laughs> Let's reach all the way back up to the ceiling. We're going to let our arms float back down behind us this time. If you can grab hold of your hands and maybe making a fist and pulling them down, great. Or you can just grab hold of your forearms. You want to be opening up your chest. So whichever way works for you, just imagine you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. So chest is expanding, breathing all the way down into your belly. And then from here, let's slowly hinge forward. We're going to bring our head towards the mat, bringing our fists towards the ceiling, squeezing out any blockages from the upper back, and then release your hands back down to the mat. Coming back into our forward fold. We'll walk our hands forward again, coming back into our downward facing dog. Let's bring the knees to the mat and we'll take the right foot and slide it forward into our low lunge, sinking into the hips, hands on either side of that right leg. Breathing here. Maybe lifting your nose up towards the ceiling, getting a more intense stretch across that left hip. And planting your left hand on the mat, let's reach the right arm all the way up to the ceiling, twisting it out here. Good. Bringing your right hand down to your knee, let's bring the left hand up to meet it. 
Sinking in a little bit deeper into those hips. Squeezing the thighs together to keep your balance. Bringing your hands to your heart center. We're going to come into a, another twist here, bringing the left elbow to your right knee. Bringing the right elbow up towards the ceiling and pushing on your palms so you're expanding and opening up as you twist. Breathing down into your belly. Beautiful. Coming back to center with your hands to your heart and then bringing them back down to the mat. Let's curl the back toe. We'll lift the right, uh, left knee off the mat. Taking the right foot back to meet the left, we'll come into plank pose. So wrists are underneath the shoulders. Heels are pushing back. If it's too intense, you can always bring your knees to the mat. Pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Beautiful. Let's bring the knees back down to the floor and we'll take the left leg and bring it forward, sinking into our low lunge on this side. Maybe lifting your nose. Taking a few moments to settle into this pose. And then we'll bring the right hand onto the mat, reach the left arm to the ceiling. And then placing your left hand onto your left knee, we'll bring the right hand up to meet it, sinking in a little bit deeper. Squeezing those thighs together to create some balance. We'll Bring our hands to our heart center, feeling nice and strong here. Taking the right elbow to the left knee, left elbow up towards the ceiling, twisting it out the other way, breathing all the way down into your belly. And then we'll come back to center with our hands at our heart, bringing the hands down to the floor, curling the back toe. Let's lift that knee up, coming back into our plank pose again. Nice long line. Nice long line from the head to the heels. And then we'll lift the hips up, coming back into our downward facing dog. And this time, let's walk the feet up to the hands, folding back over our hips, coming to the top of your mat. This time, squeezing your thighs together to protect your lower back. We're going to reach the arms nice and big and wide, all the way up to the ceiling and then back down to our heart. Taking a moment, closing your eyes, settling back into Tadasana or Mountain Pose. From here, let's take the right leg and send it back so that we can come into warrior one. So the right leg is on a 45 degree angle, bending into that front knee, making any adjustments so you're feeling nice and solid. And then we'll reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling, looking up. Breathing down into your belly. And then letting your arms float back down by your sides, bringing them behind you. We'll take hold of those fists again, pulling them down so your chest is expanding. We'll come into a humble warrior, so slowly hinging 
from your hips, bringing your left shoulder to your left knee. Fists coming up towards the ceiling. Breathing here. And then releasing your hands back down to the mat. We'll take the back foot and bring it forward. Coming back into our forward fold. Squeezing those thighs. Let's reach all the way back up. Bringing the palms together back to your heart. Beautiful. Let's do the other side. So we'll take the left leg and bring it back. Coming into warrior one. Bending into that front knee. Feeling your feet nice and solid. Breathing here. And then reaching the arms up, looking up, connecting with your inner power, breathing down into your belly. Letting the arms float down by your sides. We'll take hold of those hands behind our back. Pulling them down, expanding your chest, and let's fold over, bringing the right shoulder towards that right knee, fists up towards the ceiling. Humble warrior. And then releasing your hands back to the floor, let's bring the back foot forward. Bend your knees this time and slowly roll back up. Shoulders roll back and down. We'll come sideways onto our mat, taking our feet nice and wide, having your feet parallel to each other, bringing your hands onto your waist. Standing up nice and tall, feeling empowered here. And then we'll just slowly tilt forward, coming all the way down to our wide-legged forward fold, maybe sliding your hands down to the floor, making any adjustments to your legs so it feels right for you. Breathing here. If you have a block and you want to bring the floor up a little higher, you can. Just shaking your head yes and no. Letting go of any busy thoughts. Let's walk our fingers over to our right ankle, bringing your nose down towards your knee. Taking a couple of breaths here. And then coming back to center, let's walk over to the left side. And then back to center. Wiggling your feet in just enough so that you can get your hips to come down. We'll come into a squat today. Your Heels don't quite touch, just to keep your hands on the floor for balance. If, you're do, if your heels do touch, you can bring your palms together, maybe using those elbows to move your knees away. Letting the hips relax. Great pose to help with any digestive issues. And then we'll ease our way down onto the floor. Let's stretch the legs out in front of us, giving them a little wiggle, maybe pointing and flexing your feet again. And maybe even taking some loose fists and start by tapping our lower back, 
tapping around those hips all the way down to your ankles and then coming on the inside tapping all the way up the inside of the legs and back around to your lower back taking a moment sitting up tall shoulders and ears above hips closing your eyes Feeling all that wonderful energy flowing through your legs. And we'll bring the right leg in, letting that left leg stay out. Let's reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, folding down over that straight leg. Not holding here, we'll reach the arms back up. And exhale, fold. Moving with your breath. And we'll do three more like this. And on your last one, wherever your hands end up, letting them settle there, taking a few moments, sending your breath into any tight spots. And then we'll slowly roll back up. Let's bring the right leg up with us. And you can cross it over if that feels right for you. Sitting up nice and tall. We'll take the left arm and wrap it around that right leg, maybe hugging it in a little tighter, sitting up a little taller, taking your right arm and bringing it behind you. Looking over the right shoulder, so spine is nice and long chin parallel to the floor, breathing all the way down into your belly. And slowly unwind, straightening out the right leg. We'll bring the left leg in Letting that knee relax down, sitting up nice and tall. Let's stretch the arms up as you inhale and exhale, fold. Moving with your breath, we'll do five of these. Nice and steady and fluid. And on your last one, let yourself hang out over that straight leg. Sending your breath into any tension. And we'll slowly come back up. Let's let the left leg come up as well. And we'll cross it over. Sitting up nice and tall, let's wrap the right arm around this left leg. Taking the left arm behind us, twisting it out this side. Nice long spine, looking over your left shoulder. Chin parallel to the floor. Breath flowing all the way down into your belly. And then slowly unwinding, uncrossing your leg. And we're going to make our way all the way down onto the floor. With your knees bent, taking your feet to the edges of the mat, bringing your hands to your belly, letting your knees rest on each other, closing your eyes. 
as you breathe all the way down into your belly. Maybe getting a hollow sound in the back of your throat. Your ujjayi breath. And then we'll wiggle our feet back in so the heels are underneath your knees. Taking your hands, maybe you can graze the back of your ankles with your fingertips. Arms by your sides. Connecting with that beautiful breath. And as you exhale, we're going to push into the heels. Lifting your hips, making sure that your neck feels okay. Maybe rocking your head from side to side as we hold these hips up. Knees stay hip width apart. Feeling the weight in your heels. Breathing freely and easily. And then very slowly lowering yourself back down, feeling each one of those little bones of your back and your spine touching down. Beautiful. Let's bring the right knee into the chest, stretching our left leg out, maybe pointing and flexing your feet. Then we'll switch sides, left knee comes in, right leg goes out. And then bringing both knees into your chest, let's bring our hands behind our head, elbows extending. We'll do a little core work here. So stretching your left leg out, we'll bring the left elbow across to the right knee and then switching sides. Moving with your breath. Keeping your head and shoulders off the mat. Do five more. And one, letting your head rest down, bringing the knees in for a hug. <sighs> Relaxing. Then we'll bring our feet back down to the mat. We're going to take our, or our left leg and cross it over our right leg. So nice tight cross. We'll bring our arms out into a T-shape. And we'll lift the hips and set them a little bit over to the right. We're going to let the knees float down to the left. So coming into a twisted root here, letting your head go over to the right. Breathing into any tight spots. Then we'll bring our head back to center, bringing the knees back up. Let's uncross the legs and we'll take the right leg and cross it over the left. Nice tight crossed legs. Taking your hips a little bit over to the left as you let your knees float down to the right. Taking your head to the left, twisting it out. 
Getting rid of any last blockages. Breathing down into your belly. And then we'll bring the head and the knees back up, uncrossing your legs. Let's stretch the legs all the way out, reaching the arms overhead. Taking a nice, big, full breath into your belly and letting out a sigh. Letting your arms float back down by your sides, palms facing up, taking up lots of space on your mat. Coming into our final shape. Coming into Shavasana, closing your eyes, and giving yourself permission to rest, to digest all of the poses. Being aware of your breath flowing in and out. Feeling the cool air as the air flows in. Feeling warmer air as you exhale. Feeling the beautiful support of the floor. Allowing all your muscles to relax. Just noticing any thoughts that arise. And imagine your mind is like a blue sky. And imagine each of those thoughts are like fluffy white clouds. And just observing as they float and drift making sure that those clouds don't collect and create a gray day, keeping the sky blue. And our meditative poem today is by Dana Folds, and it's called Beneath the surface. What will I know if I go below the choppy surface of the mind? Focus flows and there are no fixed points. Slow currents swirl and slip still deeper. I grow very quiet. The mind attends the subtleness sensations is a different world and I am an explorer of these inner realms where nothing stays the same for very long. Energy shifts and changes. I find peace beneath the surface, bringing it back with me. Hold it in my hands like a small white bird and then release it that peace might fly where it is most needed. Bringing your awareness back into your room Beginning to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bringing a full breath back into your belly. And slowly roll to your side, making your way back up to a seated position.
sitting up nice and tall. Placing your hands on your knees, palms up, maybe bringing your thumb and your first finger together. And the other three fingers on each hand stretching out. Close your eyes and we'll chant Om three times, the universal sound of all things. Taking a nice big breath in. Ah. Ah. Bringing your hands together at your heart center and may you go through the rest of your day with clarity and ease. Namaste.